All right, so welcome back to the Power Armor building series. And so I think our joint problem is solved. I managed to find this little um, Ninjago thing from 2015, I think. So it's quite a bit of joints, so I'm just gonna dismantle that and take the joints for the Power Armor. I started work on the back here, the back plating. This is little tubing and this little bit of yellow. And there's also these other little tubes that go below this. I don't know what they're like little air tanks or something, but um, they're probably gonna be in white, even though it'd probably be more accurate in a tan color. But get back to you when I finish that. Oh, and I also completed both arms and switched this thing to white here. And I also replaced this with this piece because I think it looks a bit better. So I'm back. Uh, finished up the arms, added a little bit to the torso here, and we also finished up the back. Hang on. Here, or this, the top part of the back. Like that. I think that looks pretty neat. Um, uh, see you when I make something else. Alright, so the legs, I think, are going to be very difficult. The joints and the stability of them because these regular ball joints, which are the most sturdy ones I have, aren't going to be sturdy enough to, to support this entire weight of this thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. For, if I want the full posability, I could just put both of these together like that, and both of these, and that would just get a one-way thing that went, just went up and down, back and forth, but not to the sides, so... And I think it would be pretty thick, too which would not be ideal. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I also have these uh, joints here. These are these would definitely hold it up a lot better, but again, it's the same problem. Uh, they would they couldn't move to the they could only move like that, not like that. If that makes sense. They couldn't move to the sides and be fully posable. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that for now. Also the hands are this is my design so far. So I had a thumb, but that part fell off. This would just like attach to here, but I don't know what to do. I was thinking of using like the other clips, the ones that go on the bottom of the droid feet for the fingers, but I don't know if that would work. Because it might be too thick, but it would look better than these claws. I just put them on there temporarily. But yeah, I'll tune back in when for another update soon. All right, so here's what I got for the hand. It's pretty simple. The droidica legs turned out pretty well. Like I said before, I thought they would. This is pretty simple. That might change that connection there. So this little thing just attaches to the hole there, like so. Um, yep, yeah, there. It's a bit small, but. It gets the job done, I think. All right, so I'll make another one of these, and I'll start working on the legs, I guess. All right, so I finished the other hand, but can't find any more verticals to dismantle for the fingers. Where are those droidicas? Uh, I'm kidding, but um, that was a fucking cringe. Um, yeah. I find those I'll be back and then I'll start working the legs with that and actually maybe after this video. I found a bag of um, stuff that I think may have some vertigo in it. So that will solve the problem. Alright, yeah. so I found the fingers or the vertigo legs. Um, that's gonna be it for this video, I think. Just wanna get one out today, so I didn't really get much done. I got the hands, the rest of the arm. The back, the torso, the little bit below the torso. And I forgot to show you this, but I also filled in the sides here. Some bricks and stuff. That's definitely not final, but yeah, I think I'll end it there. Be sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Should we hopefully start on the legs? Though, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I definitely need some time to. Uh, work on it. Bye.